Rabbit belongs to Emily Brown. Written by Cressida Cowell, illustrated by Neil Layton, and published by Hodder Children's Books. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old grey rabbit called Stanley. One day, Emily Brown and Stanley were just launching themselves into outer space to look for alien life forms when there was a rat tat tat at the kitchen door. It was the chief footman to the Queen. He said, The Queen has very kindly noticed your rabbit. She would like to have that bunny bunny. In return, she offers this brand new golden teddy bear. Emily Brown looked at the Queen's teddy bear. It was stiff and new and gold and horrible. It had staring eyes and no smile at all. Oh, no, thank you, said Emily Brown. This rabbit is not for sale. And his name isn't Bunny Bunny, it's Stanley. And Emily Brown shut the door politely. An hour or so later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just riding through the Sahara Desert on their motorbike when there was a rat-tat-tat at the garden door. It was the army. The captain saluted and said, Her Most Royal Highness Queen Gloriana III, Greet Miss Emily Brown, and she would still like to have that bunny bunny. In return, she offers her brand new golden teddy bear and ten talking dolls that say, Mama, Mama. Emily Brown said, I don't want ten talking dolls. I want my rabbit, and his name isn't Bunny Bunny. It's Stanley. And Emily Brown sent the army away. Less politely this time. A few days later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just deep-sea diving off the barrier reef when there was a -a rat-a-tat-tat at the garden door. It was the Navy. The Admiral saluted and said, Her most glorious royalness, Queen Gloriana III, greets Miss Emily Brown, and she would like you to hand over that rabbit at your earliest convenience. She points out, that she is the most poshest person on the planet, and Bunny Bunny will be much better off with her. In return, she offers you the brand new golden teddy bear, ten talking dolls that say, Mama, Mama, and fifty rocking horses that rock forever. I don't care who she is, said Emily Brown. This rabbit belongs to me, and his name isn't Bunny Bunny. It's Stanley. And she sent that navy away. A few weeks later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just climbing through the Amazonian rainforest when there was a rat tat tat on the garden door. It was the Air Force. The wing commander saluted and said, Her Excellence, the most mighty Queen Gloriana the Third, greets Miss Emily Brown and says she must have that bunny bunny right now or she will not answer for the consequences. In return, we will give her a brand new golden teddy bear, ten talking dolls that say, Mama, Mama, and fifty rocking horses that rock forever, and all the toys she could ever desire. Now Emily Brown was fed up. She sent the Air Force away and she pinned a big notice on the garden gate that read, This rabbit is not for sale and his name is not Bunny Bunny. It's Stanley. A few months later, Emily Brown and Stanley were lying fast asleep in bed, dreaming of all the adventures they would have the next day when there was absolutely no noise at all at the door or the gate, or the window. Shh! Silently, in crept the Queen's special commandos. Shh! And they stole the rabbit that belonged to Emily Brown. When Emily Brown woke up the next morning, for the first time in her life, there was no Stanley! Do, do, do! Emily Brown was so cross, she knew just what had happened. She marched straight up to the palace on the hill. She knocked on that naughty queen's front door. Rat-a-tat-tat! Emily Brown ran into the palace. And there was that naughty queen, crying like anything. The first thing she said was, 
Oh, thank goodness you've come, Emily Brown. There's something wrong with Bunny Wunny. There was indeed something wrong with Stanley. That silly, naughty queen had put him in the royal washing machine all night and had come out an odd pink colour. The royal dressmakers had stuffed him full of stuffing so he wasn't flippy floppy anymore. And, worst of all, they had sewn up his mouth where Emily Brown had picked it away and Stanley wasn't smiling anymore. Stanley was miserable. Oh, Emily Brown, Emily Brown, is there anything you can do? asked the silly naughty queen. There certainly is, said Emily Brown. I shall take Stanley home. That silly queen started crying even harder than ever. <laughs> I have all the toys in the world, but none as nice as Stanley. Emily Brown felt sorry for that silly queen. So she went to the royal toy cupboard and she took down that brand new golden teddy bear and she placed him on the queen's lap. Emily Brown whispered so that no one else could hear. You take that horrid brand new teddy bear and you play with him all night. Sleep with him at night. Hold him very tight and be sure to have lots of adventures. And then maybe one day you will wake up with a real toy of your own. And Emily Brown and Stanley went home. Goodbye, Miss Brown. That was the last time Emily Brown and Stanley heard from that silly naughty queen for some time. But one day, a couple of years later, just as Emily Brown and Stanley were exploring the outermost regions of the Milky Way, there came a rat -a tat tat on the kitchen door. It was the postman with a letter for Emily Brown, and it just said, <laughs>